Lion 84 bundles India out for 189. First there was control, then panic and eventually wickets. Most of them went to Nathan Lyon, who was precise with his line and smart with his length. His 8 for 50 was the best ever haul by a visiting bowler in India. Back when they lost the toss, Australia could never have imagined they would be batting with an R left to stumps on the first day. And that as much as anything establishes how remarkably well they have coped to alien conditions. Most teams coming to the subcontinent will be aware they have to invest heavily in maintaining tight lines and lengths for pressure is as good as any help they might receive of the pitch to pick up wickets. The batsman starts to feel trapped, doubts begin to fester, he searches for release and India lost Cheshwar Pujara on the stroke of lunch. Virat Kohli gave his wicket away, and then a review as well, by padding up to a straight ball. And were it not for KL Rahul's 90 on his home ground in Bangalore they would have been in far worse shape than the 189 all out. Mitchell Stark and Josh Hazelwood were in prime form with the new ball. Six of the first 12 overs on Saturday were maidens, the result of their getting just enough movement in the air and off the pitch. Lyon, probing away outside the off stump with his ability to impart overspin, got the ball to turn and bounce sharply on some occasion and go straight on at other times. His biggest strike, however, was simply down to a setup. Kohli was new to the crease and only a few seconds ago had a good length ball jump past his inside edge and hit his thigh pad. Something told the Indian captain he can trust the bounce, that if he is playing on the back foot, the ball will likely not threaten his stumps. That made picking length very, very important. Lyon flattened his trajectory, due Kohli into thinking it was a lot shorter than it was. The batsman left the ball, it thudded into his pads in front of middle stump and umpire Nigel Lan put his finger up. While that can be forgiven, his gamble with the DRS, driven not by logic but by hope, and even a little bit of fear at losing the best batsman in the team and also giving Australia the kind of momentum they would love, was less so. Watching from the other end was Rahul. His innings spanned 205 balls, the next best was a mere 66, was a battle all through. He was struck on the glove as Stark peppered him with short balls. He was squared up consistently by Hazelwood's outswing. And even as the batsman tried to line himself up on off stump to be in better position to handle that, the inswinger messed up all those plans. With his score on 30, he could have been caught but even Peter Hanscombe, whose agility is already becoming legend, was unable to hold on to a terribly difficult, low catch to his rowing hand, left, at silly mid-off. Rahul had the metal to work past his troubles, to not buckle to pressure and go looking for that boundary that makes him feel better for but an instant. He had had enough of that in Pune. Normally a free-flowing batsman, he struck the first ball of the match off start to the point boundary, he understood the value of a set batsman making a big score. With time at the crease, his defensive game grew tighter. But most of all, he was able to absorb all the pressure Australia piled up on him. The same cannot be said for his teammates. Ajin Rahane hurtled down the pitch against Lyon only for the straighter ball beat his outside edge. He was so far outside his crease that Matthew Wade even had time to recover from a fumble and pull off the stumping. Karun Naya, who was brought in to lengthen the batting lineup playing for the first time since his 303 not out in December, committed the same mistake against O'Keefe and this time the ball turned sharply to leave him stumped too. The vagaries of the strip at the M. Chinnaswamy Stadium, hosting a test for the first time since large-scale renovations of the outfield, although the square was untouched, indicated a total even in the region of 250 could be challenging. 
the chances of India getting up there were high in the morning, when their second wicket stand put on 61 runs in 25 overs. But it was broken, Lyon again making a ball jump at Pujara and having him caught at short length. By teeth, Australia's goat had gutted India's middle order and sent back their big three. To a bowler in such rhythm, India's lower order proved no match. Our Ashwin was undone by a spitting cobra. Riddhiman Saha edged one that didn't turn as much as he thought. Ravindra Jadeja inside edged a catch off the bat to slip, which was only confirmed when Smith made fine use of the review available to him. Even there Australia were thumping India. Even India adding the extra batsman in their 11 couldn't save them. M. Vijay, however, was not part of that number having injured his left shoulder in the triple three run defeat in Pune. In his place came Tamil Nadu teammate Kabinag Mukum. The 27 year old was representing India for the first time in over five years and his team was using their eighth opening pair in the last 12 months. He got an eight ball duck, the partnership yielded only 11 runs, the position is clearly cursed, it time to call Scooby-Doo yet.